Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safiya Palace the beauty of Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and several senior officials. His Majesty praised the military installations of the BDF and its continuous development in the field of armament. He held the BDF's medical and health contributions through the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, which is being led by His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the BDF's noble national contributions in providing facilities equipped with the latest health supplies attended by a highly qualified medical staff. His Majesty also praised the efforts of the Supreme Council of Health President and Chairman of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, to whom His Majesty conveyed his greetings and to all the health and administrative workers, as well as the front lines workers who are carrying out their noble duty to combat the coronavirus and provide health care and treatment to all citizens and residents of the kingdom. His Majesty affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on providing the best living standards to its citizens as well as care and support to its residents. He also commended the turnout of volunteers to the clinical trials of the experimental vaccine, which is taking place in the Kingdom, in cooperation with the UAE and the partners in this initiative from China. He expressed pride in the turnout of 6,000 citizens and residents and thanked all the volunteers for their noble initiative. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, has instructed the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning to coordinate with the Ministry of Labor and Social Development and other competent authorities to develop a mechanism to rectify the situation of workers' accommodation and address the spread of illegal housing in residential neighborhoods and nearby farms as soon as possible. The Works Ministry was requested to submit a comprehensive report to the Cabinet, including the revision of the current procedures and legislation regulating the process regarding licensing of labor housing units, periodic control and commitment to regulatory health and safety requirements for shared accommodation. The aim is to reduce overcrowdedness at labor accommodation and enforce procedures that protect the safety of the citizens and residents at residential neighborhoods. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of making an inventory of shared accommodation buildings that do not meet the requirements and notifying violation business and real estate owners of the need to rectify their conditions and rehabilitate them properly in order to protect workers' health and safety in accordance with the recommendations, decisions and precautionary measures of the National Medical Task Force to combat the coronavirus. His Royal Highness directives are in line with his unwavering interest in following up on all issues raised by the citizens in the local press, as well as his keenness to ensure them the requirements of comfort and decent living. The Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance, led by Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, continues its efforts to implement its pri priorities until the year 2022, in line with its endeavors to keep up with emergency developments and support efforts to address COVID-19 in terms of financial and economic aspects. A press report highlighting the most prominent work of the Ministerial Committee during the first half of 2020, issued by the Office of the Deputy Prime Minister, stated that the Committee adopted the Government Program and the Fiscal Balance Program as the basis for its seven topics. Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks and gratitude on his behalf and the Committee members to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the Royal Directors that prioritize the security of society and the health and safety of citizens in light of these exceptional circumstances. He also valued the confidence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in the Ministerial Committee. He praised the national efforts of Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, whose leadership contributed to these efforts in mitigating the impacts of the pandemic, especially the economic and financial fields. He also highlighted His Royal Highness's keen interest in to support economic development and strengthen the financial situation and the role of the Ministerial Committee through direct follow-up of His Royal Highness to its programs through his chairmanship of the Government Executive Committee and continuous guidance for the benefit of the country and citizens.
The Minister of Finance and National Economy also held a meeting remotely with the heads of the financial and economic committees of the Shura and Representatives Councils within the framework of continued coordination and joint cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. The minister affirmed that Bahrain is proceeding with full determination to move towards achieving development programs and plans, including the fiscal balance program for the interests of the nation and citizens. He indicated that the results of the semi-annual closing of ministries and government agencies for the period ending on June 30, 2020, showed discipline in public expenditures according to the budget allocated and a decrease in recurrent expenditures compared to the same period in 2019. Sheikh Salman noted that the decrease in total actual revenues was due to the decrease in oil prices, which led to a decrease in oil and non-oil revenues. He also said that the kingdom is able to achieve the aspirations and goals of economic growth and implemented the initiatives of the fiscal balance program, as well as other plans and programs that enhance the national economy and the state's public finances with the solidarity of all Team Bahrain members. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, affirmed that the celebration of the International Youth Day is an annual chance to recall the major achievements in this field during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King upon his directives and amid the support of His Royal Highness Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He noted that the kingdom has made substantial achievements in the field of youth. He hailed the vision of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to support the youth. He added that Bahrain has been one of the leading countries in engaging the youth in international efforts. In collaboration with G42 Healthcare, which is an artificial intelligence company based in the UAE, the Assistant Undersecretary for Public Health at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Maryam al Hadri, announced the initiation of a Phase 3 clinical trial for COVID-19 inactivated vaccine, which will be tested on an estimated 6,000 citizens and residents volunteers across the kingdom. Dr. al Hadri noted that the potential vaccine enlisted by the World Health Organization will be tested on volunteers who meet the required medical criteria. She highlighted that the Phase three clinical trials, which will be conducted over 12 months, have been approved by the National Health Regulatory Authority following the success of its Phase 1 and Phase 2 clinical trials across China. Dr. al Hadri noted that the Phase 3 clinical trials will be open to volunteers above the age of 18 who do not suffer from chronic or underlying conditions. The Assistant Undersecretary for Radio and Television Affairs at the Ministry of Information, Abdullah Khalid al dosiri said that an implementation of the directives of the Minister of Information, Ali al-Rumehi, a studio will be allocated to broadcast the events and competitions of the final stage of the Strongest Man competition. al dosiri affirmed that the Ministry is always seeking to actively contribute to support the success of all initiatives launched by the first Vice President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al-Khalid to achieve these goals set by His Highness through these initiatives. He also praised the directors of His Highness Sheikh Khalid to hold the competition at this time, which affirms his keenness to continue launching initiatives aimed at investing the energies of youth and supporting sports in all circumstances. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,025 with 242 recoveries, 386 registered new cases and two deaths. 153 cases have been detected among expatriates and 233 are contacts of active cases. The deceased were a 53-year-old male expatriate and a 68-year-old male citizen. The Ministry of Health expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.